Number one gives us a data set that represents the number of typing errors on a test or errors on a typing test. What is the median? So for the median, we need to go to the middle of the data. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, data points. So we're going to go to five and five. We'll split this data. So the median is going to be right here between nine and nine. So just nine, since that's the same number. Otherwise, we would average those two. Then the interquartile range, you're going to take your Q3 minus your Q1. So we need to find each of those. So Q1 is going to be in the middle of the first half of this data. So right here. So in the middle of those five. And then Q3 will be in the middle of these last five. So right here. So we've got two on either side. So our Q, our interquartile range will be 10 minus 8, which is 2. Number two, the data set represents heights in centimeters of 10 model bridges um, that are being made for an engineering competition. What is the mean? So for the mean, we're going to add all of these numbers together. And if you add all those numbers together, you're going to get 160. And then you divide that by the number of numbers there are, which is 10 in this case. So the sum divided by 10 gives us 16 for the mean. And then the mean average distribution, so that's what MAD stands for, is the mean, well, mean absolute distribution, actually. So the mean absolute distribution, if we go to your lesson summary, it tells us how to calculate the MAD. So we can follow these three steps here. So the first is to find the mean of the values in the data set, which we did in ours, right? We got 16 for that. Then it wants us to find the distance from each data point to the mean and do the absolute value of it. So how far is it from it on the number line? So let's do that here. So what we're looking at is how far away are each of these data points from 16? And so you can actually subtract it and do absolute value um, in your calculator. Remember, you don't want any negative numbers here because absolute value gives us back a positive. So how far is it from 13 to 16 is 3. And I'm just going to write them all here. 14 to 16 is 2 units away. 16 to 16 is 0. So each of these is the actual mean. So it's not, it's 0 units away from it. 18 to 16 is 2 units. And then 19 to 16 is three units. So now we've figured out how far each data point is from the mean. So then the third step is to find the mean of those distances, which again means to add them all up. So now we're going to take and we're going to add up all of these numbers. And remember, there's four zeros in here. Um, I'm not going to write those down, but we do need that because we're going to divide by 10. So we're going to add up 10 numbers, four of them being zeros. So this is 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 14 for our total of those 10 numbers. So 14 divided by 10 gives us a mean absolute distribution of 1.4. Number three, describe the shape of the distribution shown in this dot plot. So this one, we can see that it has, you know, a bulk of its data right here, but then it also has, so if we kind of think about like drawing this, like the curve around the top, then all of a sudden this one goes further, right? So this tail on this side is further. That means that it's skewed. So it's a skewed distribution and it's skewed to the right, meaning that the tail is longer on the right. We have more data on the right side of this graph than we do on the left. Number four, the dot plot shows the weights in grams of several different rocks. Select all terms that describe the shape. So part A wants bell-shaped and bell-shaped is like this. So it goes up in the middle and then back down. Uh, so that's not this one. Bimodal means that there's gonna be like two peaks of data and we see those two peaks right here. And here, so it is bimodal. 
skewed would mean it goes further to one side than the other from the bulk of the data and this doesn't it just kind of has two peaks over here goes down goes back up and comes back down with two peaks no skewing symmetric means that there's a middle that it's the same as on each side like if you could fold it in half all the data would land on itself kind of or on other data so this peak would land here this one matches this one this one matches this one and this one matches this one so this one is symmetric around that middle line there and then uniform means all of the data points are there the same amount of time and, and we can see that that's not true because we've got this one here two times and this one here four times Number five, the dot plot represents the distribution of wages earned during a one week period by 12 college students. What is, whoops, what is the mean and interpret this value based on the situation. So again, for the mean, you're going to need to total up all of these data points, right? So you're going to have to add up all 12 scores and if you do that, when you add them all together, you should get 114 or 1,419. And then we'll divide that by 12. And that would give us 118.25. And remember, this is dollars for this graph um, that they earned in a week. And then it wants us to interpret this. So this would mean um, if we were to collect all the money earned then divide it up equally between um, the college students, they would all get $118.25. So if we were to pull up all of the money and then distribute it evenly, everybody would get $118.25. For part B, what is the median? So now we want to go to the middle. So 12 would split six and six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So the middle is between these two. So at 118 would be the median. And what does this mean in the situation? So this means half of the students earned $118 or more and half earned $118 or less. So that kind of just splits it up um, half and half. So half above 118, half below 118. What would a box plot of the same data have allowed us, would the box plot of the same data have allowed us to find both the mean and the median? So a box plot um, would allow us to find the median, but since we wouldn't have known um, individual points. We wouldn't have been able to find the mean. Number six, the box plot displays the temperature of saunas in degrees Fahrenheit. What is the median? So remember that the median is this middle bar, and so it's 118 degrees 